In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. He created Adam and Eve. The point that I'm making is the government is destroying us each and every day. Families working three jobs, two jobs to, to make their ends meet and they can't not afford it. They're still struggling. We can't even help each other out because we are struggling. We are in the same boat. But why why are we struggling people? Because we put our feelings first all the fucking time. Instead of us thinking big and say, "Hey, we're facing a mega crisis. We fit we facing an issue." That has not been solved, but it can be solved on November 5th, election day, our last hope, our last chance to do what's right for this country. Don't 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 get it twisted, don't be fooled thinking Kamala Harris has your support, has your vote because she's a woman. Don't think that way, folks. It's the, come on, here is not even black. If you look up her, the family tree, her mom is not even from here. She's from India. So that means if her mom from India, that means she shares share the that means she shares the same blood as Kamala Harris. So she can't be black if her mom is from India. You know what I mean? But November 5th, folks, is our last chance to do it right for this country. Or we won't have a country. Forget about your kids going to college because she's going to end that. She's going to kill the American dreams for good. You're going to ask yourself, you're going to go through, we're going to go through another tribulation and come on here and get selected. Because she's listing all this shit. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. But she didn't do any of those things when she was not. Right now, she's vice president. She hasn't done anything but talk, talk nonsense, and you know, send money to Ukraine. You know, having open borders. You know, it's extremely overwhelmed. Okay, we have a lot of shit that needs to be fixed, but it's not been fixed. Because they don't give a fuck. It's just, it's just how the Democrat runs. If you go to a if you go to a blue state, run by a Democrat, or you live in the city that if you live in a blue city, right? For example, California. California is a pain in the ass. Crime is skyrocketing. A lot of people are moving. Out from California and moving into Texas. Why? Because California is out of control. The taxes is the taxes is ridiculous high. You know, that's the result that we get when you vote for a Democrat. But we can prevent that from happening. Because on November 5th, election day, come out of Harry versus Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump can be president of the United States. Donald Trump needs to win. Donald Trump needs to be president so we can have a good country. But we won't if a Democrat is in control. Look at the results of a Democrat in control of the country. Everything's all fucked up. Everything's all fucked up. You know, look what's happening under the Democrats' watch. Everything is fucked up. And people do not see it. But they're gonna vote for Kamala Harris because 
She's a woman. That's all it is. That's why. And they don't like Trump because of his ego, because of his mean tweets and all this bullshit. But Trump does have a policy, a good policy. And he's going to commit to those policies. I know we have a lot of racism in this country. Blacks hating on Mexicans, like always. It's always been like that. Blacks always hating on Mexicans. Blacks never like Mexicans for no reason. Because we work. That's why. That's why they don't like us. And they complain, oh, you Mexicans are taking our jobs. Well, motherfuckers didn't do the jobs. Do the job that they do. Work in the roofing. Do all the fucking shit that they, all the, all the Mexican jobs. You know, all the Mexican people that be working in the roofing and construction and all this bullshit. Do those jobs. You know? Nobody's holding your hand and, and saying don't don't work. You know? But that's that's how it is. This country is filled with hate. It's a lot of vicious people. You know. But everything can be settled. Everything can come to an end. On November on November 5th. President Trump needs to win, people. He needs to get in office so we can have a running country, a good running country, because the way it looks right now, it's not. Oh man, it's not. It's not looking good, folks. But this is our last chance. Our last chance, November fifth, on election. Vote for Donald Trump, or we won't have a country. Please, folks, please. <laughs>